Across Johannesburg's tinderbox townships, the Zulus were on the march, but what was planned as a show of strength soon turned into an ugly display of violence. <gasps> Brutal assaults and intimidation. Township residents were terrified. A sporadic shooting broke out. Cars were stoned, taxis and buses burnt. The police struggling to contain the trouble as Zulu and Carter Party supporters tried to enforce a strike court. In Alexandra Township, homes of rival ANC supporters were burnt down in the Zulu rampage. Our sheikhs are burning here. What is the use of talking? And when they come back in the afternoon, there's going to be hell here. The Zulus, more than 40,000 of them, armed with traditional weapons, converged on Pretoria, South Africa's seat of government. Their demand, unlikely to be met, is for a Zulu state within the new South Africa. Today's violence is ominous for a South Africa less than four months away from historic elections. The Zulu and Carter Party are threatening to boycott those elections and disrupt the campaign with violence. The Zulu king addressed his people before talks with President de Klerk, a speech greeted with gunfire into the air. Dangerous times as South Africa heads nervously towards democracy. Mark Austin, ITN, Pretoria.